Hello Aquarius and welcome to your June 2021 reading. It's great to be here with you tonight or today depending on when you're watching the reading. If the reading resonates with you please like and comment in the boxes below and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel I greatly appreciate it. If the reading doesn't resonate with you please check out your moon and rising signs as you may be more in your moon state this month or something else. For the month of June, it promises to be a little bit of a challenge. We're going to have some spicy situations going on with all of planetary involvement. Right now, both Saturn and Mercury are retrograde. We just had a lunar eclipse and we've got a solar eclipse coming up. So kind of buckle up and be prepared. Doesn't mean it's going to be bad for you. Aquarius usually kind of goes with the flow. Another fellow, fellow air sign. So could it, could it uh, change it with the times? Some of the time. But let's see what there is to put, say for you for this month. And we'll see what's going on. So I'm going to draw some cards and then I will clarify the cards just to get that extra information. So come on, Spirit. Let's give Aquarius their uh, highest good. The reading that is in balance for them. Awesome. I'm going to clarify these cards. In the past position, we get the Ace of Swords reversed. We'll find out more information when we clarify. The more recent past, we get the Six of Cups. Present position, Eight of Cups in reverse. Near future, Ten of Cups. It's always a good thing. And also Seven of Cups in reverse for the future position. But let's clarify those. Come on, Spirit, give me some information for my Aquarius friends. Get those Aquarians some, some news you can work with, right? Because you don't want news you can't do anything with. So, to clarify that Ace of Swords in the past, we get the Hierophant and the Page of Cups. The Eight of so Ace of Swords... Uh, usually refers to new information coming in. When it's reversed, it might mean that that information has been kind of stuck. Clarified by the Hierophant, Hierophant is all about learning and education, broadening your information. Maybe you were trying to learn and that information just wasn't coming to you at the time. And with the Page of Cups, she is the page that brings, brings the information about love and abundance. So she kind of came to you in the past and you were learning and not getting that information. So we'll go on to the Six of Cups in the recent past position. The Six of Cups can speak of uh, reconciliation if there's someone from your past or just uh, reliving the nostalgia of your childhood. And it's clarified by the Five of Wands, which talks about battles uh tough times so maybe if someone was trying to reconcile there was a lot of fights and arguments with that but moving into the nine of pentacles which nine of pentacles is that self-assured uh competent capable business person the person who makes the money and is able to take care of themselves that's a really good position to be in maybe that uh that reconciliation and all those battles were preparing you for being in the Nine of Pentacles. So now we'll see about the Eight of Cups and why it's kind of upside down and on its head. And we'll clarify that one. In the present position, Spirit. Okay, we get three cards coming for that one. Okay. The Eight of Cups is generally about letting things go, moving on. Not able to move on. So th something's keeping you going. And that has been clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. If you weren't able to move on, the Wheel of Fortune is finally starting to move in your favor. And that's a good sign. When it's upright, it means it is starting to move. So that Eight of Cups is moving on. Especially when we come in with the Knight of Wands, bringing you passionate, creative, fiery messages. And the Knight of Swords, who is the fastest moving knight, bringing in that communication. Along with the Wheel of Fortune, things are going to start picking up and start moving for you. 
especially when we roll into the near future of the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is a happy, fulfilling relationship, um, abundance in all forms. So even if you're not looking for a relationship, you've got abundance coming. But if you are looking for a relationship, that's very positive in the near future. So we're going to clarify that Ten of Cups. Okay, Ten of Cups, which, I mean, all abundance and love, clarified by the star. Doesn't get a whole lot better than that. I mean, the star is wishing on a star, coming true. But then we go into the Five of Swords. Is that feeling of betrayal, selfishness? Is there maybe worry that if we move on with the Ten of Cups and that wish on a star that we're going to be betrayed? Maybe we should look at that. How about we clarify that Five of Swords? See what's going on there. Because the Ten of Cups and the Star together are very, very good positive cards. So it's kind of confusing why the Five of Swords would come in. Okay. So now we get the Emperor and the Eight of Pentacles reversed. It could be along with the Ten of Cups and the Star that there's a fear. And that's what the Five of Swords is representing. The Emperor, kind of steadfast, rules. But the Emperor isn't always, he isn't always rule with an iron fist. The Emperor can be fair as well. But there's some worry that all of that Nine of Pentacles that you were coming up with, that the Emperor may take it away from you. But you earned that. You became the Nine of Pentacles. You're the one who can do it. No emperor is going to come in and take it away. And your true Ten of Cups and Star is only going to want to build that life with you, not take it away. So let's see what's going on with the Seven of Cups in reverse. The Seven of Cups speaks to having many options and many choices. We got to kind of be careful of some of those options. With the, um, you can look at some of the, some of those cups aren't necessarily filled with good things. So you got to be very careful. And having it in the reverse is maybe feeling like you don't have a lot of options, which goes along with that, that Five of Swords fear. So let's clarify that Seven of Cups and see what we've got going on for my Aquarius friends. The Seven of Cups reverse is clarified by the artist, which is an additional card that the uh, creator put into this deck. Speaking of creativity, which... Coming with the Page of Wands. P Page of Wands is that passionate creativity. That having that spark for the creativity in your life. Doing things. I mean, you don't have to be a world-renowned artist to be an artist. You just have to create. So let's get a little more clarification for my Aquarians on what's going on here. What does Spirit want to tell you? We see what's been going on. I see some fear with uh, that Ten of Cups and Star, but very strong. Is it fear that things are moving too fast when you've got the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands? Because that Knight of Wands is pretty passionate, and he likes to move fast along with the Knight of Swords. Okay. We have, in the past position... Page of Fire. You've got, you've got a lot of passion coming or came to you. And it could be that own, that passionate creativity of your own. In that present position, you've got the Nine of Water. This is Wish Upon a Star type of time. This is this is Genie in a Bottle, Wish Has Come True. And you got the Star and the Ten of Cups coming up. It's a really good card. But I'm worried that you got the Eight of Water as far as leaving things behind. Do you really want to leave? your Ten of Cups behind? Or is it fear that's making you want to leave that Ten of Cups behind? We'll keep on clarifying. I'm going to clarify something on, on this Eight of Water, Five of Swords situation. Because it's just a case of one of these things just doesn't belong here. It's not fitting in right. So let's see what else we can put on there. Tick tock in reverse. TikTok speaks to having, not feeling there's enough time, but you have all the time in the world. Time is kind of an illusion. 
but you're not running out of time. You need to make the decision of what's best for you. And we're going to consult the Ascended Masters to see what they have to say, what wisdom they have to impart. What do you have to tell my Aquarian friends so they know what to do? Lady Nada, Heart Awakening. Awaken to acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance. It's like I said, your true Ten of Cups, he, he or she's not going to want to take away from you. They're going to want to give to you an imbalance. But let your heart open. Kind of like this flower is opening. Allow your heart to open and find that balance. So now we're going to see what the unicorns have to say. Very soon. What you're asking for will happen soon in a happy way. So that's an answer to this, the TikTok. It's happening soon. But don't let it don't let it get you in that five of swords position. Let it keep you in the star position. That's a good place to be. So we're gonna have the fairies come talk. They like to talk with the unicorns. Children, your connection with children is a part of your life's purpose. Look at that little look at that little one with the expression on their face and the butterfly wings. But you also see that you've got a rose. And on Lady Nada, you have a rose here as well. Roses are a lot of times a sign of the heart. And children, maybe in your heart. But there's lots of petals on that rose. There's lots of room in your heart for both children and your ten of cups. Just a thought. Okay, now we are going to find your animal spirit guide to connect with this month. But otherwise, things are looking very good. Just let your heart open. Allow your heart to be open. And follow your intuition and trust. Because things are going to happen very soon. So let's see, what, what animal does Aquarius have to work with this month? Roadrunner. Keep your sense of humor and don't think take things too seriously or so seriously. Laugh. Play. Laugh at yourself. It's a good thing. We're going to go with the gemstone for you to work with this month. And also they are soul purpose cards. So if you're looking for kind of your soul purpose or confirmation of your soul person purpose, that'll work. So what do we have for Aquarius? We have actor. Peacock Copper. Are you vibrant and dramatic? Your creative energy and ability to express yourself is dynamic and enthusiastic. Have the courage to show your true colors. Let your heart open up. Have that courage. And translate the information you need into the parts you play in your life. Entertainment. So Peacock Copper. Those bright, vibrant colors. And I will read the affirmation to you three times. The affirmation is, I dramatically shine my brilliance and light. I am authentic and confidently show my true colors to others. My life is dynamic and full of vibrant energy. I dramatically shine my brilliance and light. I am authentic and confidently show my true colors to others. My life is dy dynamic and full of vibrant energy. And so it is. Now, one last card we're going to get is the Making Magic manifest Manifestation Cards. So, magical forces that be, what do you have to tell my Aquarian friends to help them maybe get over some of that fear that I see lurking in there? See what we got. The elements. The elements of fire, air, earth, and water combine to create powerful, protective boundaries, spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional. So work with those elements. Keep your boundaries. Boundaries are good in any kind of relationship. But you, got, you got the star, baby. I mean, you got the star coming. Just let your heart be open. And you'll have all of that abundance and love coming to you. It'll get there. So I hope this helped and look forward to seeing your comments. 
and talking to you again next month. Take care. Bye-bye.